I'm gonna go grab a pan. I wanna try it. <laughs> grab the lightest one. I don't know which one is. Like, how? Just hold, when you hold the pan up, make sure it's light. It's crazy. I know. This one's kind of small. What is this? Maybe. Do you think it'll work? Okay, I'm gonna try. No, no you're going the wrong way. Wait, how do you do it? Oh, like this. Yeah, right? you're trying to bend those in. Oh. oh! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> he broke Teflon, dude. With, with, the, with the pan, Teflon is not hard to manipulate. It's just really funny. <laughs> what do you mean it's not hard to manipulate? You f bend a pan like that? No, that's made. The pan's made of steel. The Teflon is just the coating. Oh, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, you you bend the f steel or pan like that. Whatever. You bend it, bro. Can you bend steel like that? You can't, bro. I don't have Jesus like they do. All right. Exactly. You guys' hands are basically like five pound meat sledgehammers. It makes sense. Dude, the funniest part about it is how old they are. Like, like they're just like this guy is like an accountant. You know what I mean? Like this is like an old ass man. All right, well, you know, just come chilling. see him when you can rip a phone book. Apparently, it's like pretty easy to do ripping a phone book. Yeah, apparently, it's about like physics. You can wait. You can bend so, it. So you've probably seen this neat little party trick before. I'm about to go grab one from the kitchen, dude. Jeez. Now, I'm in decent shape, but I'm definitely no Larry Wheels or professional strongman. So I wanted to find out if bending a frying pan is a skill that I'm able to learn. Luckily, I have with me here two old frying pans that were about to go in the trash. So I'm going to try it out today and see if I'm actually able to do this. Now, from what I have seen, there's two common methods of actually bending or rather rolling a frying pan. One where you keep the pan in front of you and press inwards with one hand on each side and another one where you hold the pan against your thigh and press downwards using both hands. Hey, this is Sam from the future. I just wanted to quickly add that other than just being a question of technique and strength, the difficulty of rolling or bending a frying pan also really depends on both the material and the price. With the easiest being cheap ones made of a thin layer of aluminum, while the hardest would probably would be something like a cast iron frying pan. In between that, you then have pans made of heavily- You guys think this guy also believes in the power of Jesus Christ, our holy Lord and savior? Because like, otherwise how the- you know, how, how is he going to bend it? There's no shot, you know? Compressed He's aluminum, a metal bender, stainless dude. steel, Teflon, and much more. And the difficulty of those will then vary depending on thickness, size, and price, with the more expensive ones usually being more difficult as well. So to give a better understanding of what I estimate to be the difficulty of the different frying pans I use in this video, I will add in the material and estimated cost of each one. Now back to the video. Now I would guess that the second approach where you press downwards using both hands is the easier one. Since theoretically, that way you should be applying more pressure at only one point of the pan. Fortunately, I have two pans. So I guess I'll try both by first going for the pressing inward method. And if that doesn't work, I will try the other one where I press it down against my thigh. All right, so let's just warm up a bit first. Please that stop this explainer for the last five minutes. I've believed in the Christian God and I'm not ready to go back yet. No, 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 no. This guy also believes in the Christian God. How is he doing it? He can't do something. Wait, what? What's I don't know if this is considered cheating, but it's my first time doing it, so I don't really care. Let's try here. Okay, so I feel like it's really just burrowing into my hands. I don't know if you can see this here, but it has like it has like an itch to it. And I feel like that itch is just cutting into my hand. So, okay, you know what? Let me put this down for now, and then I'll try the inward pressing method with this one here instead. He's giving up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, he did it! I mean, I'm definitely getting somewhere, but it's still not quite there. Okay, this is actually really cool, and I definitely feel like I was able to apply more pressure because this one doesn't have the edges like like the other one here. Okay, 
let's just say we made it this so I guess far, it's not that easy. let's try the pressing downward motion. Wait, right, should we try it? Try. No. Why not? There's a lot of jokes to be made, but honestly, you don't want to waste it, man. Uh, okay. You have hella right. pans home. I guess this will have to do... That's crazy. I mean... That, I mean, he... That was hard, though. That so was, as like, you can was... probably guess, I was completely done for here, and I was definitely not happy with the result. So the next day, I decided to give it another go on the same frying pan with the technique I felt like I had had the most success with. Gotta put on the gloves first. Now, the one approach I feel like I did have a lot of success with was the one where I used my left arm to sort of act as a brake up against my thigh while I apply pressure with the right arm. So let's see if I can't. Okay, so obviously the other guy's like way, way stronger than he is though. I don't think I can do it, man. I don't think I could do it. I kind of want to, but curious answer. The weight of the bricks is all supported by the corners. It makes the blocks very fragile. It creates a fulcrum effect on the center of the bricks if they're, and they aren't hard to break at all. Only try the pan if you have cheap thin aluminum pan. They certainly pick those pans specifically for their act. I don't know what if I have a, a cheap aluminum one though. Like what if I have like a really, really- <laughs> Cast iron skillet. Yeah, what if I have like a really <laughs> strong pan and it just like- me up, you know what I mean? Okay, a little bit more. And it ended up being pretty much the same technique as I explained in the beginning, except I just moved my left hand to the other side, like this. So yeah, let's give it one last push and see if we can't get it all the way in. will have to be it I think now this is definitely more than I managed to do yesterday so I'm somewhat satisfied with the result now like I mentioned I think one really important thing is being able to find a good way where you're able to apply sufficient pressure by utilizing leverage and it probably wouldn't hurt getting just a bit stronger either with a slightly better result yet feeling sore and a bit defeated I decided to give it a rest for a couple of days until this happened. All right, it's day three and I was actually planning on ending the video, but luckily I had a spare frying pan donated by a friend of mine. The only difference between these two is really just the size. Now, I'm not quite sure, but my guess would be that the smaller one here would probably be a bit easier since it feels a bit lighter and it also should have less total mass. But with that, I'm gonna put this one aside and give it one last try. All right, so let's give it a try here. Okay. I just want to point out you've changed a lot, Abby. What do you mean? Normally, you would have stopped this video, paused it like a million times. And now you watch it through and through. Okay, because I'm just intrigued. I want to know how the f he's doing it. I want to know how he's doing it, and, and I want to like try to try to do it myself. The only thing that hasn't changed is me running the top of the hour ad break at the top of every hour where there's a six second ad break, which you can avoid if you would like to. How? Well, by subscribing, of course. For five dollars or for free, you too can avoid the top of the hour ad break. But shall it change, you man, dude? I'm so. You guys want to hear something crazy? He didn't even invite me. Bro, you were doing some shit. What the f do you mean? You just wanted to be out there partying all on your own. Yeah. Without yeah. your bro. Exactly. That that is what that's the truth. You're stop farming. Uh, stop farming. Uh, hate shit. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go grab a pan. I want to try it. <laughs> grab the lightest one. I don't know which one is. Like, how? Just hold, when you hold the pan up, make sure it's light. It's crazy. I know. Uh. Okay. This one's kind of small. Let me see this. Maybe. You think it'll work? Okay, I'm gonna try. No, you're going the wrong way. Wait, well, how do you do it? Oh, like this? Yeah, you're trying to bend those in. Oh! Oh, oh my god! What? Oh my god! <laughs> it's not even that hard! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Dude, I think you just found Jesus. I did it. That's crazy. That do I have the power of Allah on my side? It is Ramadan. That's crazy. That actually is why I can't believe that was so easy to do. Let me see this. Oh yeah. See, you did it too. You're doing it. Yeah. Damn, Piker Bros. Yeah, we're strong. Don't fuck with us, dude. Where's the camera? There we go. <laughs> now bend it back. God just coursing through. Now bend it back for your mom beats your ass. No, I have plenty of pants, dude. One is fine. Like a breaking one is all right, you know? Mom is not going to appreciate this. I mean, I feel so strong. What the? F Are you going to put that in the back? <laughs> is it? There's literally. Here, here you go. Here you go, folks. There you go. Don't fuck with me. Okay. No, actually, it, it is literally super easy. <laughs> like that guy was... I don't know why he was having a, such a hard time. It's I think not that he hard. He said that one of the pans were stainless steel. Get a phone book? No. This is the power of Ramadan, Easter, and Passover crossing. Yeah, that's what happened, I think. I'm gonna send that to mom and see what she thinks. That was cool. I, I feel cool as I'm not gonna lie. That was easy peasy. Hassan, please bend me like that. Okay. At first, I was gonna worship Jesus, but now Allah, after seeing your strength, good. Say it. Say it. What is, what's going on? What? I'm telling them, Kirimi Shahadat Kitirullah. Say the Shahada, chat. There you go. You have some weird references, dude. What? How is that a weird reference, bro? Sh Shahada is like the most com. What the? F Everyone has to say it before they turn Muslim. Just this this stream has gotten oddly uh, religious for me. Hassan is the strongest Twitcher YouTuber that I follow. Why are you not fasting, bro? Come on. Wait. Oh, I forgot. I told you guys the top of the hour ad break was here. Here is the one minute ad break now. Bro, it's not even top of the hour anymore. Okay. Well, you know, it happened. Sweating profusely, fighting the urge to press the button with every ounce of willpower I have left. It's not like a ruins $40 pan because he can afford it. Imagine getting your politics from this man. Do it. You won't. But post the video and make me look cool. You know what I mean? If you're going to do it. Like, like, make me look sexy and, and strong and cool. Like, good music in the background. You know what I mean? Blaine Greenwood, I'll talk right now about the Libs of TikTok story. So riveting. Love him now. Oh, I, I heard about that. Philip DeFranco put me in the thumbnail again on his latest video. I already watched it. You already watched it. Oh, that's why you knew about it. Of course. How else would I know the news? Yeah, Murat watches Philly D. It was a lot about Taylor Lorenz. She wrote the story. Okay. She wrote the book, dude. The re you know how we started this convo? We're going to watch this gay shit one more time, chat. It's the funniest Wait, and what? best. Here. We got to the story because of this. You and seven million other people. That man is tanning his balls. Hmm. Nice. Red light is good for skin tightening. I have a machine to use all over, but if I have balls, I definitely wouldn't use it there. Why would I want smooth balls anyway? Suckable. Oh, you're on a different camera angle now. Yeah. What do you mean? I, I would like to have I would like to have smoother balls. Look at this. I don't get it. Is that your shirt? Yeah. That's for my latest Instagram. Oh, is it from the interview magazine? You gotta react to this video. What is this? Girls trip trip with the ladies. I'm gonna your dad so hard later every single one of them i can't deal with someone who supports the establishment Coach, did I do it? Am I a winner? Girls don't do it. Yeah, can't relate. Yeah. My brain's like, do it, you whore! Girls, Bro, this is actually bullshit. The fact that this is girls only is literally misandry and it's unacceptable, okay? Wait, they're actually, this is an actual thing? Yeah, they're doing a girls trip Where are like they going? shit con or shit camp or something without any of the boys and that's up yo why aren't you guys doing a boy trip? i'm sick and tired of it dude i, I you know it's up hey you need to have a a competing boy trip. we should 
I'm that's that's a good idea. Except none of the boys have any uh, logistical. Yeah, we don't have the mental. We don't have the mental faculties to put together a full trip. You know what I mean? Do you? Is it announced where they're going? I don't know. I mean, that kind of like gave Miami vibes. But I think it's just a random clip. <laughs> 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 Up. Didn't ask you. Don't care. May fourth to May seventh, starting on Twitch.tv slash Cutie Cinderella. Okay, we gotta do this. Yeah, but you guys gotta go somewhere like random, like Nebraska. Last time you had a boys trip, you opened discussing camp fish in your backyard and almost threw up. That's true. The boys trip? That was here. Yeah, I know. They're just saying it's that not that's really like. A trip, is it? Okay, we gotta do a boys trip now. Fuck. You guys gotta go to like a random lake in Kansas. Why don't we just like? Why don't we just do? Why don't we just like break into the girls' trip and then ruin it? You know what I mean? That's men know how to break. A boys trip has to be gay as hell. I hope you know. I mean, of course. <laughs> Excuse you can help schedule and plan it yeah okay yeah only if sammy puts it together yo crashing cuties girls only thing would be p content no we're not doing that i'm just i'm just mad that you know we're not allowed we're <laughs> go to a dude ranch somebody said <laughs> i want to go on the girls trip this is bullshit just start showing up bending pans and tearing phone books and shit yeah exactly i mean that would be a cool uh, activity for a boys trip <sighs> let marat organize please he can put you on mars and plan a trip to utah what here it is folks we're back. We haven't done this in a while, okay? Are you just showing off because I'm here? What? what do you mean showing off? Okay, buddy Hassan. No, what do you What do you mean by that? I don't know. I just, like, I'm here. You're putting up voice. It has nothing to do with you, motherfucker. What do you mean? Regarding Hassan's recent style, I may be a Turkish man in real life, but deep inside, I'm a quirky white girl. Wait, what? What does that even mean? After his debut on Coachella Music and Art Festival, Hasanabi finally releases his first single coming 8-21-22. Hasanabi. Blammo. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs> okay. I should have done Batman voice. That's what I should have done. I should have been like, I hope all the boys, all the girls, and all the MPs are having a fantastic one.